uh, to all the people that were complaining about Voxter's hold. Are you happy that the stock is trading now? Because I was pretty happy when it was halted because then I didn't have to see the uh, stock market uh, price movements. It was halted, it was quiet, and then it got unhalted, and then the sellers came out, people are losing their mind again, and then I have to address a bunch of things again. Uh, so can, can, we, can we please get it halted again? Maybe, I don't know. For, for, last time it was halted for not a good reason. Maybe this time it could also be halted for not a good reason. I'm, I'm sure the regulators can come up with something to hold Voxter stock for. Um, anyway, I was under the impression that uh, that people read press releases. And today I, I was made aware of that some people don't. And so here's what I mean. Today there, is, there was a press release in the morning that the company closed the remaining 6.5 million of a private placement. So in total, it raised about 10.5 million uh, from the current private placement. And it closed in several tranches, three tranches. Uh, so it originally closed, the first tranche was like 3 million. Then the second tranche was announced about 900,000, so it was like a total of 4 million. That was last week. And some people were panicking that, uh, that you know, they only closed 900,000, so therefore there was not enough money, right? So they were concerned about this. Before they were concerned about that there is dilution. Then they were concerned about that there was not enough dilution. Um, and so... Some people didn't read today's press release that they raised uh, 6.5 million for the total between the three tranches, 10.5 million. So why was it like this? Why, why was there a press release for the second tranche last week? And then surprise, surprise, not to me, uh, there was another closing all today. Well, because the exchange said that those two are separate things. And the exchange pretty much told them that they have to press release the second tranche for 900,000, which, which was together with the first tranche. And then the, the tranche that closed today was completely separate. Don't ask me why. It was completely separate. And so, so in total... The bottom line is that in total, the company raised 10, about 10.5 million, okay? Per press release, they said that they, they can do up to 20 million. And they wanted to say up to just so that they don't have to go back and ask for another permission. So they asked for 20, they raised 10.5, 10 and the press release says that they, they may issue ad additional, uh, you know, 9.5 million, uh, but I doubt that they're going to do additional. Why? Well, because if the stock price is at you know 14 cents and the private placement is at 20 cents, I doubt that too many people will be like, "Hey, I want to do it." Right? So, because again, three inches in front of people's face, if the stock was at not 19 cents, then what they would be doing all day long is selling the stock to buy into the private placement. If the stock was at 22 cents, they would sell it down to 18, 19 to go into the private placement. That's what would happen. But because the stock is at like, you know, 14, they're probably not doing that. So I doubt there's going to be much more than the 10, 10.5 million that they raised, right? And so, so like I, as I said many, many times, uh, look. The, the sellers of Voxter will sell the stock at any price, okay? Usually what you have, you know this, you have a bid and you have an ask, right? So you have people bidding for shares and they might bid, bid for shares at this level, this level, this level, this level. And the sellers today are pounding the stock. Right, so they're taking out this level, this level, this level, and unless it gets refilled, 
they continue selling it, okay? That's what they're doing. Now, now you cannot, it doesn't matter what the company says, what I say, it doesn't matter. They're selling. Just go, go, go and re, read some message boards uh, by, by people that uh, are continuously wrong about what they're saying. Like, for example, uh, wh what did they say about uh, the auditor? Oh, it was um, that it was Voxter's fault that auditor got in trouble because of Voxter. That's what they were saying. They were wrong, but, you know, the stock price moved down, so therefore they were right, right? Then what, what else they were saying? Oh, that they will not issue the financials uh, until six months. Well, they were wrong about that. Uh, Voxter issued the financials. The stock price moved down. Therefore, they were again right, even though they were wrong. You see, you see where I'm going with this? And now today, they have a lot of, you know, more opinions. I, I'm not even reading that stuff because it's... I. I I promise you, I'm not reading that stuff because it is so stupid and so dumb that I, I can't waste my time reading that kind of stuff because they don't know anything. They don't know anything. Like they don't, they're not going to pick up the phone and find out what's going on with the company. Why? Why if they can just make up stuff, make up stuff, say whatever they want, and then they're going to be right because if the stock goes down, therefore whatever they say is right, correct? It doesn't matter what they say. Even if it's wrong, as long as the stock price goes down, they are right, okay? And they are right about everything because the stock price has been going down, right? And now, I cannot tell you, uh, you know, how much lower this thing is going to go because the sellers have no limit. They will sell. If the bid is at $0.14, cents, they will sell at $0.14. Cents. If the bid is at $0.10, cents, they will sell at $0.10. Cents. If their bid is at $0.05, cents, they will sell it at $0.05. Cents. There's no limit for them because for them, Voxter is not worth anything. For them, it doesn't matter that uh, the pre-closed due diligence that I was talking uh, with Al Qureshi about, it doesn't matter that Voxter is the only company that has this. It doesn't matter that originators are like, waiting for this product to be released. It doesn't matter that Freddie Mac is increasing their staff um, to look at mortgage buybacks. It doesn't matter because they don't know anything. They, they, don't, they don't learn anything. They just spew nonsense all the time. And this nonsense is, uh, becomes correct because the stock price goes down. So they, they, you know, there's no consequence for them being wrong. Because as long as the stock price goes in the direction that they want it to go, go, they're completely right. It doesn't matter what the company does. It doesn't matter what products they, they release. It doesn't matter that the, the Voxter has the best mousetrap. None of that matters, okay? So I can't tell you what these people are going to do from day to day. Like, as far as I'm concerned, the stock could be at three cents tomorrow or next week because, again, there is no limit. There's no limit as to how low they will go. Remember, interest rates are high. We're going into recession. Voxer is going to go bankrupt. It's, it's, like a, it's like a broken tape. They're, they say the same thing over and over and over. Just like when I said, uh, when I used the example of a house. Oh, you're buying a house. Uh, what's the price? $200,000. But the house doesn't have a pool. Okay, well, I'll sell it to you for one ninety. dollars But the house doesn't have a pool. The house doesn't have a pool. The house, okay, so what? That the house doesn't have a pool. It's still a house, right? It's still a house. The same thing here. So what? That uh, recession is coming. So what? That this. There's still a business behind it, and if the business was liquidated, uh, the, the shareholders would get multiples, multiples of what the stock is trading for, because not everybody is an idiot, okay? Uh, businesses, uh, uh, divisions sell all the time. So and so, don't be surprised to be surprised when the non-core asset that Gary is talking about sells for quite a bit of money. Don't be surprised because he he told you that. But anyway, I can't tell you how much lower it's going to go. Just expect it to go a lot lower because the sellers again. If you don't know understand what any price means. Look up in a dictionary what it means, any price, because that's the price that the sellers are willing to accept, any price.